And, and I, that's where all the meetings took place here. They met at the tavern. Yeah. George, yeah. John, yeah. all of them got in, in there, and that's where they talked politics. Yeah, yeah. That's where the coup was started. Absolutely. Right in the tavern. That's Most right. coups are started in caverns. <laughs> Taverns. taverns or taverns? Okay. <laughs> I taverns. think you've been to the tavern a little too much. <laughs> we did a cavern just the other day. One of my favorite parts about coming to Williamsburg are the people dressed up in period clothing. They're telling a story of 400 years ago, but they're really telling our story today. George Washington actually came down to Colonial Williamsburg and met with several of the founding fathers. And this is where the inception or the idea of, wait a minute, we could be a nation. And it was right here in Williamsburg. It's where the meeting started. This is where the culmination of all the thoughts of what freedom could look like and become happened. What can somebody expect to learn when they come to Williamsburg? Well, we're trying to help the future learn from the past. Yesterday, we listened to Thomas Jefferson. Where at? Oh gosh, he gave us a tour. We sat under that live oak tree, and he talked us through about 100 people, 100 people uh, listening to him. And what did he tell you that you did not know before you came here? Quite a lot. <laughs> I'm horrible at history. <laughs> Dre, what happened here? Mm, Dre didn't was... know when the American Revolution was, so. <laughs> I'm like, what president was he, really? I don't know. Yeah, see? Serious, that's see, how... that's why we that's come here. how horrible my... <laughs> My schooling is. So. James Madison, I know his wife makes really tasty Good cupcakes. cupcakes. Yes. Yeah. He's on the other Perfect. side going, I was president! It's not just for the kids, it's for the adults. They come together, they're learning just as much as the kids, usually, right? Yes, sir. I, I, I guarantee that if I brought my mother here, she would learn as much as I did in, in my 11 years of tenure here at Colonial Williamsburg Foundation. So bring your kids here, you're going to learn just as much as they are, and together, you're going to make a memory. Yes, indeed. What good people like, what's your name, man? Andre. Andre. When you think about all of the technology we have today, look what they did back then. This is so beautiful. They did it with just crude tools and equipment. And yeah, it might have taken a little longer, but the beauty is unbelievable. And let's not leave out the, the foundation, Rockefellers, who made this happen. He took his own money, put it into a fund, and created this so that we could enjoy it. I love that look. Now, architecture was my first love. Second came history. When you combine the two of them, <laughs> and that all on its own, right there. That moment, the light, the building, the everything. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Favorite thing about Williamsburg, go. <laughs> architecture, the buildings, I love them. I'm going to tell you why this, artistically, is so pleasing to the eye. You have five levels for your eye to transition to. One, down with the fence, up to the out, uh, the outbuilding. Two, to the fence. Three, up another level, down. Four, five. You have six different levels for your eye to move around to. That is what makes something pleasing to the eye. And a good sheep or two. I hear you. We're having mutton, mutton later. And there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah. Sometimes, to get to know people, you got to catch them a little off guard. I call it one minute madness. I'm just going to fire questions okay. at you. You're going to react to cat-like reflexes. First thing comes to your mind. So, is it, is it right. history questions or just questions? It could be anything. Is... Badger. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yes, right. Are you ready to roll? We're ready. Okay. ready. Cue the music. Can you hear it? Okay. Uh, favorite food? Italian. Pasta. Pizza. Pickles. Corn on the cob. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Washington. Nice. Uh, Favorite place in the world? Uh, Let's go. Madness. Madness. Oh, minute on. madness. Sorry. Do go. I have to go for a minute? Yes, that's it. Where, where are you going? Which... Favorite place in the world? Oak Canary. Croke. Uh, Canary Islands. Williamsburg. Uh, nice answer. Oh, gosh. You're going to die before you even get I know. Out. I love the process of how they tell the story here because they give you an idea how America was put together, how it's been, how we are, and where we're going. And you get to make your own decisions. And you start to think, what if they wouldn't have done this? What if they wouldn't have thought? We could be a nation. We can do this.
Did you get a dress? No, but I got a business card. She's buying a dress. I'm telling you right now, there's no way this woman is not going to own a know, colonial dress. Serious? Williamsburg is living history. It's the past coming to life. I hear the horses running. It is still alive today, and you get to witness it and take it all in. Okay, take one, man. We'll fuck you. <laughs> if you love history and you want to get immersed in it, there's no place like Williamsburg. It's the past and the present. George Washington went to church here, and you can go to church here. We'll see you in the painting. 400 years of history. It's then, it's now. You got to come here. And that's Williamsburg Historical National Park. Why are you here at Williamsburg? I want to dabble in some history and do some light shopping as well. Well, that was <laughs> fun. Oh, hey, don't leave me. I'm serious. I can't get this out. B. Man, they just have such a flare in their eyes. They tell a great story. Ah! You can't see. Trey, what did you get shopping? <laughs> oh, yeah. What did you get? <laughs> What'd you get, Trey? You got shut out. You got shut Articles out. Articles of clothing. Undergarments. First time in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Williamsburg. And back then, that's how they spoke. But now, we're in Virginia, y'all. We're in Virginia now. It's, it is a grand union flag, y'all. All right, okay, I got it. Ready? Ready? This is what's great about this place. This is... Here's my favorite part. Here... You need to watch where you step. Because this isn't funny. Someone could get hurt. In 1774, <laughs> are you helping me out here? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Favorite animal? Dog. Horse. Sloth. <laughs> sloth. That's the first sloth we've ever gotten.